welcome back to day three of No Spin November. Uh, we appreciate you guys joining in on, on this uh, daily journey and not spending any money. Um, so a little bit about us. We are uh, Farm Life Outfitters. We have a, a, about a 15 acre homestead here in Central North Carolina where we raise uh, animals, uh, meat chickens, layers, uh, sheep, cows, we have a pretty large garden and um, lots of fruit trees and nut trees and all that good stuff. Um, about five years ago, we set out on a journey to become more sustainable and more self-sufficient and uh, provide for ourselves. And part of that is raising our own meat. And uh, we really haven't bought any meat at the grocery store in like five years. Um, aside from a few packages of bacon and sausage from either a local farm or um, our uh, friend has a, a little small shop in town that we buy, uh, we have bought some bacon and sausage from. But uh, aside from that, we haven't purchased any any meat from the store in a long time. So. Um, so with that, we have to we have to grow our own. So um, we provide a, a great life for our animals. They are moved every day to fresh pasture, and um, they're given quality minerals and and clean water, and they live a, a really great life. Um, so uh, they also provide really quality, good meat for us, for our family, and for our customers. In yesterday's video, you saw us uh, slaughtering a couple of our lambs. So, um, in, in one way, we, we really enjoy uh, the process, raising and um, doing everything ourselves. I, I actually enjoy butchering and um, doing this part of it. I mean, the the killing is not fun. I, I dread that every time. But um, butchering and packaging and all that, I I, I kind of enjoy. So, we appreciate you guys tuning in, and uh, we're just going to be working today. So, you're going to help with, with this today? Yeah. So, with these shoulders, we're going to take off this part, which is called the shank, this lower half. Mm -hmm. So, if you'll just watch me do this one, <coughs> then make sure you get off any trash. No spin November. Day three. <laughs> Cutting up meat for the freezer. And I can't touch my hair, so and my hair keeps getting in my face. <laughs> Sorry. Should have put it in a ponytail, huh? Are you learning a lot? Yeah. For your school day today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like doing stuff like this, Ian? Yeah, I guess. You're learning stuff that mommy doesn't know how to do. All right, today's frugal tip is to um, buy things used. Go to consignment stores. Um, not have the latest and greatest iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, buy used, used equipment, used things. Most of our clothes come from consignment stores, don't they? Yeah. Or, um, hand-me-downs or whatever mm -hmm. so sure. buy things used good one yeah yeah i think a lot of our friends do that yeah you know when we first got married i had a brand new car remember yeah <laughs> and we've slowly gotten older cars <laughs> yes adam's like that is the last brand new car we will ever own yeah <laughs> Every car after that, except for the van, was older. Yeah. <laughs> we got a, we had a 2007 car when it was new. Then we yeah. went, we went to a 2004 car, 
yeah something like that and then we went to a 1997 car <laughs> <laughs> yep our van was pretty new it was what two years old when we bought it yeah but it yeah we bought it used and and uh quickly paid it off and we didn't want a car payment again <laughs> <laughs> I have to know. flip it over like I've got mine, and then this, this is mainly fat. I just need three feathers and like no all beast this, one. All this, um, you yeah. see how mine looks different? Yeah. There's a huge thing of fat. Ooh, it's hard to rock. Back. So you just get started like this, and try not to cut into the meat. Okay. I think I can do this. I can. You know what I mean? You just want to trim all this off. Because it's all going to the dog. Got it? Yeah. Oh, that's a good point, too. The ways we save money for the oh, dog. Yeah. yeah, we really don't buy dog food either. Yeah. I mean, we haven't in a long time. Because um, every year when we get a deer or when we're butchering an animal or chickens or whatever, we save all the scraps. Mm -hmm. And we have a freezer just for the dog. Yeah. That saves a ton of money because we were buying a lot. And he's healthier. Like we yeah. we notice Jacob is healthier when he's eating the like the raw meat yeah. diet, you know? Yeah. And um every once in a while I'll give him some chicken feed. Yeah. And it's different kind of protein in it and some grain. Will he eat chicken feed? Yeah. But he's been mainly raw meat for at least a year. Yeah. And we noticed, at least I noticed, I think you did too, when when he started, when we started doing that consistently, he, like his coat got super fluffy and shiny. Yeah. And, and yeah, he just got like, not fat, but he just got like real stocky looking and, yeah. and not, um, I don't know. He just acted like he felt good and stuff. And yeah, yeah we, were, we were. That was expensive. I forgot about how expensive that is. Mm -hmm. That's at least probably thirty dollars a month in dog feed yeah. for one dog, and that's buying the cheap feed. Mm -hmm. You know, if you bought the more expensive feed, it would be sixty or seventy dollars a month. Probably. Right. So it's worth having a freezer just for the dog. Yeah. I mean, it probably costs what twenty bucks a year to run the freezer. Right. We are doing a good job. I think so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what you're doing, but I assume you know you do and you're doing a good job at it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go finish school up with the little ones. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. I wasn't talking to you. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? It didn't take long at all, did it? I'm hungry. Pretty this easy, is isn't it? Me hungry. So here it is. Our packaged meat. We're guesstimating about 20 meals here out of two sheep. So that's pretty good. Half a year's worth of meat if we have it once a week. Mm -hmm. We usually like this. This is like the ham. That'll be two meals for us. So we'll have lamb and then leftovers. And the shoulders will be that also. We have, we saved the hearts and we saved the liver and we have the hams, the shanks, which will be good in like soup. Uh, there's bones. Let's see, this wasn't liver. This is a uh, tenderloin steak. These are the livers right here. And we have ribs and we have shoulders. And that's about it, isn't it? Filling it up, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we had cleaned it out pretty good, didn't we? Yeah. 
be a fill up the freezer kind of fall, isn't it? Yeah. We got three hogs and a steer to butcher. Yeah. And hopefully five or six deer. Appreciate it. <laughs> Take him to the compost pile. Oh, wow. wow. Don't see him. Oh my. You yeah. stink. Are you? Nothing he might find a hole. Gassy stuff. Disgusting. This smells disgusting. Oh. Here, wait for me, Daddy, so I can film this. Don't get too close, Travis. Okay, I'm ready. We'll put him in the brush pile. Maybe. Yeah, he'll probably think he's in a hole if he goes in the brush pile. Is he dead? So bad. Maybe he's just, he's just like, what just happened? Hmm. There he goes. Yeah. Home, huh? yeah, stay out. Bye bye, ginormous snake. Appreciate you guys joining us today for day three of uh, No Spin November. And uh, leave a comment below if you have any suggestions on how we can be more frugal, because we're always looking for better ways and more opportunity to save our hard earned money and um, live more simply. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow for day four. What are we doing tomorrow? Any idea? <laughs> What's the plan for tomorrow? You are starting on the greenhouse, aren't you? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're excited about that. Yeah. So that'll be fun to document the build.